Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be cleansing a crystal and I'm going to show you three ways to cleanse a crystal without having to use water or the sunlight because a lot of crystals don't like water or the sun. But before we do that, I am Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path. If you want to know more about Wicca, witchcraft, crystals, tarot and shadow work hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos if you want to know where to start your witchcraft practice but you're just not sure of what to do and how to pace yourself along your learning track then take a look at my free video it's called how to start your witchcraft practice there's a link in the description field below this video if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me you can book a free clarity session just to have a half hour chat with me to see you know what it is that you need and if i can help you there's a link to that in the description field below this video and i have other courses too tarot course a 12 month witchcraft course as well as a shadow work course they are all in the description field below this video and on my website mysterywitchschool.com so today it is cleansing a crystal and a lot of the time when you're cleansing a crystal you may want to consecrate it for your work as well i am going to be using two words which you may not have heard before which is malefic and benefic I use them a lot and sometimes people don't pick up on what I'm actually saying. <laughs> so they're the two words. So malefic or malefic is anything that's malevolent or negative energy and the benefic or benefic energy is anything that is beneficial. So I use that when I'm consecrating. I use those two words when I'm consecrating, but in a shorter, a shorter way. So I'm going to be using appetite as an example of the crystal I'm going to be cleansing as well as the fluorite because they're two different shapes of crystals. This is a crystal ball, obviously, and this is a crystal point. And the first method I'm going to show you is a really, really simple method. All you need is yourself for this one. Hold the crystal that you're going to cleanse in the palm of your hand, or you can have it on a holder if you want to, and place your dominant hand over the top of your crystal. If you already have Reiki attunements, you uh, can use that energy and the Reiki symbols to cleanse your crystal. If you don't, that's okay. You can still use the energy that comes out of the palm of your hand very strongly to oscillate energy around your crystal to cleanse it. So imagine that the, out of the palm of your hand is coming a very beautiful blue, or it could be golden, or it could be a white light of energy. It could be like a liquidy light energy and it just engulfs the crystal that you're cleansing. And as it goes around the crystal, it's transforming any icky dark energy into light energy, golden radiant energy. And as you're imagining that, you can say, I cleanse and consecrate this crystal so that it may be fit to serve me in my work. Remove all malefic and replace with benefic. And then just hold the palm over the crystal for as long as you feel you need to. You can circle the palm around the crystal. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you might want to do that clockwise. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, do it anti-clockwise. When you're finished, your crystal is cleansed, consecrated and ready to be used. Another way that you can cleanse your crystal is to use incense. I have here two incense sticks. You can use an incense cone, you can use the charcoal. It's really up to you. And I'll use the fluorite as an example today. And just put the crystal in the smoke and allow the smoke to just go around and, and over the crystal. And as it does that, you just say your consecration lines again, I cleanse and consecrate this crystal so that it may be fit to serve me in my work. Remove all malefic and replace with benefic. And again, just to see any dark energy dissipating and transforming into beautiful light cleansed energy. And do that for as long as you feel that you need to do it for. 
pretty simple and inexpensive. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do this. Next is to cleanse the crystal using another crystal. Some crystals are great at cleansing others, such as selenite, for example. Selenite is probably the most inexpensive crystal that you'll use. It is a very delicate crystal though, easily broken, easily scratched, and do not put it in water or salt, particularly if it is wet weather, because it's easily scratched and it will dissolve in water. I have here a selenite slab and I've got also here a selenite pen. And you can use these for cleansing your other crystals. So for example, my fluorite here can sit on top of the slab here and I can leave that fluorite on that slab for as long as I want to leave it there for. I could leave it there for an hour, I could leave it there for a day or two. It really just depends on whether I remember to take it off the slab or not, to be honest. <laughs> but you'd want, you want to leave it there for maybe an hour or so. And while it's sitting there, as you put it on there, once again, state your intention. I cleanse and consecrate this crystal so that it, it may be fit to serve me in my work, remove all malfic and replace with benfic. And leave it there until you're ready to use it. And another way that you can use the selenite wand is to either move the crystal itself so that the, the tip of your wand is pointing towards the crystal that you're cleansing. You can move the crystal around slowly and just see that the energy coming from the wand is coming out the tip of the wand and it's going around the crystal, okay? And that that energy is cleansing and consecrating it. If you really want to add some extra energy, use the, again, the palm of your hand, which is where the oscillations, they've actually measured the energy that comes out of the palm of your hand <laughs> and they know from measuring it that for people who are either focused on bringing more energy out through the palm of their hand when they're doing healing work or anyone who has Reiki attunements that energy does actually speed up the oscillations speed up at the palm of the hand so you can hold it with the tip to the palm of your hand so that you're putting your energy also through the selenite. So not only is it getting the cleansing properties of your selenite, but it's also getting your energy boosting that as well. And you can move your selenite wand around your crystal as well. And because you are consecrating it and you're putting a different energy around it, so you're trying to transmute negative energy into positive energy. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, draw clockwise, sorry, clockwise. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, draw anti-clockwise. And do that for as long as you feel that you need to do that. I find this one takes a little bit longer to do. And, but take as long as you feel that you need to take. Of course, you can use your crystal wand here for healing as well as uh, using it in spells to just put that beautiful selenite energy into an object like a talisman or a an amulet to give it that extra boost of really high vibrational energy selenite can really lift your spirits it's very healing it's very high vibe it's very cleansing it's very clarifying. And if you've ever meditated with it, you'll know what I mean. It, it really does lift you and it, it almost puts you into your higher self state automatically just by working with it. It is a truly beautiful crystal to work with. I've done a whole video on selenite, so I'll try to remember to put a link to that in the description field below this one so that you can know more about what selenite can do for you because it is very inexpensive and very 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 powerful so there are three ways that you can cleanse a crystal using either your own energy incense or selenite the reasons i don't go in for cleansing crystals with water is because crystals such as turquoise for example will turn green if it's 
exposed to water for too long. As I said, selenite will dissolve in water. With the sun, the energy of the sun and the UV in the sun can fade a lot of the colored crystals. So for example, if, you're, if you've got a rose quartz crystal or smoky quartz crystal and you leave them in the sun frequently, you're going to find the color will fade. So if you do want to bring energy of like solar energy into solar crystals, then put them out during the very, very early, early morning so that they're getting the sun when it first comes up, the sun shining on them, but don't leave them there for very long because you don't want the sun getting stronger as it gets further up destroying the color and fading the color of your crystals. It's fine to leave your crystals out under the moonlight. The moonlight is not going to harm them in any way. They will absorb some of the energy of the moon. So if you want to leave like lunar crystals out there, then like moonstone, for example, or even selenite, it will absorb that lunar energy. And you can use that in spells where you're wanting to take advantage of lunar energy. And if you're working with crystals and you want to take advantage of the solar energy, then make sure it's actually in the morning and not in the middle of the day. Okay, if you want to learn witchcraft with me, I have a course called the Mystery Witch School 101. There's a link in the description field below this video. I teach you how to cleanse and consecrate pretty much right from the beginning, how to set up circle, how to work with your energy and get your energy going and build your energy and work on it every day. You also learn a very folk type of magic. So it's, it's the magic that mostly is candle magic as well as protection magic and also financial magic. But in the magic module, you can use that magic for anything, including love magic or success magic as well as working with the deities and working with the Sabbaths and the lunar energies as well. So if you want to learn witchcraft with me in a group of like-minded people so that you can connect to yourself, to nature and to the universe, then take a look at the Mystery Witch School 101 Academy. The link is in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. I am Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.